are working on Mr. King's Ford. Record, but this morning I dropped off the transmission for the 69 IDI at a local place. I basically just paid for a, a pan drop, inspect the fluid, pull apart the filter, see what in their professional opinion it looks like. And I got a call about an hour later saying that they had some downtime on their other projects and that they got it pulled apart and that they wanted me to come back up so that I could take a look at it. That could be good, that could be bad. They had, did not tell me anything. So, I guess we'll see when we get there. We got the transmission back. They said that there was a lot of clutch material on the base of the pan. The guy told me in his professional opinion, he would not run it. And then he told me $2,000 roughly. I just got off the phone with Mr. King, and as I suspected, he said, as of right now, that's not happening. He said that we're gonna give this transmission the best chance that it has. Before I made everything together, I'm gonna pull the pan, do some look and make sure that it got cleaned. And if they didn't replace the filter, replace the filter. So I wanna pull this off just to be sure. Take a look on the inside as well, make sure it was cleaned out. And then we'll bolt this back together, put the better torque converter in and mate this to the engine. I don't know how the filter works on this transmission. I don't do work on automatics. Either there is no filter, or the filter looks different than what I'm used to. I gotta do some Googling real quick. Okay, this is the filter right here. Not sure if it was miscommunication. I don't know what happened, but this transmission filter certainly hasn't been changed. Here, let me get a close up. I don't think that they were by any means trying to do me dirty, but I believe I asked them to do the filter, and there's no way this is new. There's corrosion around it right there, and corrosion on the side over here. So, I called a few of the auto parts stores in town. Nobody seems to stock this filter anymore. The quickest that anybody could get it here was O'Reilly, first thing in the morning, for $17. I went ahead and ordered that. I'm gonna go ahead and finger tighten a couple of these and put the pan back on so we don't get anything in there because it does look like it was cleaned. Again, we're gonna give it its best shot, see what it does. Hopefully that'll be the last roadblock between us putting this transmission back on that 6.9 IDI and shoving it in that goddamn truck. <laughs> O'Reilly has our automatic transmission filter. We're gonna head there and pick it up and then we'll throw it in the transmission. We got the stuff. It's early the next morning. We're back from the parts store. A couple things to say about it. We got a rubber gasket for the pan. I don't know if I'm gonna replace it or not. I'll see how many defects are in the pan. This one's a lot thinner. The cork gasket that they replaced it with at the transmission shop is a lot thicker, so it'll absorb defects and whatnot a lot better than this will. Usually I do prefer rubber gaskets because then when you go to take it off, it's way less of a pain in the ass most of the time. So this is where having a little bit more knowledge would help. If I knew that the entirety of the transmission filter was literally just this screen, this mesh, then I probably would have taken that one out and inspected it, which is probably what they did, because I'd imagine it's it's just fine. One of those situations where having a little more knowledge would definitely help. I did express to Mr. King before taking on this job that automatics are not my forte and that this may become a problem if the automatic had issues. <laughs> but we're here now. We're going to replace it with a brand new one, new gasket. And then we'll start sending it as far as making progress.
Determination between a 1986 stock came out of the gasser torque converter or the one that came out of the 69 IDI that I see no stamping on and cannot tell how old it is. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take these two nice white clean buckets. And we're gonna pour this one. In there. I'm gonna pour this one in here. Holy shit! I think we know which one we're going with. It's gonna be this one. This fluid's black. Take a look here. The fluid from the gasser torque converter. That's the fluid from the TDI torque converter. It looks a little milky, but it's way more red. Let's get this out of the way and get our transmission mated to that engine right there. When you're putting a torque converter in, you wanna make sure that you engage it one time and then spin it around, keep feeling it and pushing. And there's two steps to the engagement to make sure you have your pump engaged. If you do not engage your pump, you will burn things up. Your pump will not run. Things will be bad. Don't do that. I'll grab the hardware, we'll mate it up, and then there's four studs connected to your torque converter that need to bolt through this plate right here. And then there's six studs that hold the transmission to the engine. to have this engine in by the end of this video and I've got all sorts of excuses I could tell you as to why it's not but who cares about that here's a capybara eating an ice pop Jojo's have a great day and remember don't let your meat loaf <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,